Hi guys, for today's video I wanted to do another tag video because it seems like you guys enjoy, enjoy watching these types of videos. So for today, from the title, you can probably already guess what this is, the Lip Attic Tag. Now let's just dive right in. So the first question, sorry guys, I just got my laptop out here for the questions, is your favorite balm or treatment? Um, my favorite one, I can't say as I really do have a favorite balm, you know, I'm kind of just using whatever is in my uh, little stash that I have. I tend to get a lot of lip balms from Top Box, so I will use those, and I usually apply them at least two times, sometimes three times a day, so my lips are always very soft, so I know this really isn't a very good answer, but I don't really have a favorite. Um, I do like the uh, Burt's Bees ones though, they are pretty good. Uh, second question is, your best eye-catching red. Now for this question I actually do have an actual product. This is Max, I've already featured this one before, but it is Max Lady Danger. It's gorgeous, it is a bright orange uh, based red and it's matte. And I just really like how it looks on my skin. I really um, enjoy Max lipsticks as well. I find, although the mattes are a little bit drying, um, I find if you wear a balm underneath it, is it makes your lips feel more hydrated, and they also last a long time. The third question is best luxury and best drugstore lip product. So my best luxury would definitely be the Mac lipsticks. Again, I have two right here. Um, I really enjoy um, Max lipsticks, A, because they're long wearing, B, because I find their uh, color range is really nice, and C, I also really like uh, the scent of them. So that's definitely my favorite um, luxury brand. My favorite drugstore uh, lip uh, lipstick or lip product would be the Revlon Lip Butters. Now, I believe this is from their Color Burst range. This is the color Candy Apple. I'm also wearing one on my lips right now. That is Sweet Tart. Now these, as you can see, although this is a different color, these are very pigmented. So that's what it looks like. I'll show you what it looks like swatched. Just to show you how pigmented this red is. So that's what it looks like. They do have a little bit of shine, however they are really hydrating like a balm, but I am really impressed and surprised at how uh, pigmented these actually were. I wasn't expecting them to be um, that pigmented. I was expecting them to be a little bit more, um, you know, washed out or more subtle. So the next question is your best MAC lipstick. My favorite MAC lipstick was also my first MAC lipstick that I ever purchased and I have worn it in a couple of videos. It is Girl About Town. Now this is an amplified um, finish, so it's very similar to the matte ones, except it is a little bit more hydrating. This one I'm almost done. That's another thing, is I like how long MAC lipsticks last. This one I've had for quite a while. This is Girl About Town. It is a blue-based magenta. Isn't that just gorgeous? It's nice and bright and really eye-catching. I just really like the way it looks on me. Now this one I find it lasts like all day. Like you really don't need to apply it, to reapply it that often. Really enjoying this color and I definitely will be repurchasing another one when I am through with this one. Um, the most disappointing lip product you've had. Now this has got to be the Smashbox uh, Be Legendary Lipstick in Pout. is what it looks like. So it's a uh, almost like a peachy light bubblegum pink. Now you'd think from looking at this that this would be a fantastic lipstick and especially since it is from Smashbox. Unfortunately I find the color and I don't think this is because um, this isn't like due to the formula. I think it's strictly due to the color because I've had this even with MAC lipsticks. Is that just the light uh, shade of this mixed with the opacity of the formula, it just uh, really sinks into the lines of your lips and it makes them more visible. So it's not really the most flattering lipstick I find. 
Um, however, this is, it does feel like nice on your lips, although I don't really like the color. Um, however, since this lipstick, you know, Smashbox isn't super cheap, you know, it's not like a drugstore uh, brand. I find that I can mix this with other lipsticks like a nude or a hot pink to either tone it down or just make it look uh, more like pink uh, toned. So that is how I'm using it. When I mix it with something, it's a nice, but on its own, it's just, it's not looking the best. Um, the next question is liner, yes or no? Now, I only own one liner and it's from MAC. Um, I don't really find that much use for a liner. The only reason I have that liner from MAC is because the shade is uh, very dark and it goes with a very dark lipstick because it was uh, bleeding a bit. However, I don't really have much problems with uh, bleeding, um, you know, outside the lines of your lips. But just with that color, I find it is necessary to have a liner. But most of my other colors, you know, even though they're really bright, I'm not finding it really necessary to use a lip liner. So I would probably say no to lip liners. Um, best gloss. This is, again, another Smashbox product. And I got this, I'm going to say, not in my top box. I want to say someone got this in their Ipsy bag and they didn't like the shade and they gave it to me and I just adore this color. Um, it is the Smashbox Lip Enhancing Gloss in the color Fuchsia Flash. Now before I rave about this, this was a limited edition shade which is really disappointing because I absolutely love this product. So you can't get this color anymore. Um, this is however a pretty big sample. This is, the shade is like a nice, uh, pink but it's got hints of red in it showing uh more red in the camera however it is more pink in real life now i just want to show you this applicator this is not the hugest applicator you have ever seen in your life it's just like a big like velvet sponge see it's showing more pink now this i think it applies wonderful um this is a weird like formula. I really like it though. When you apply it, it is pretty opaque and it's very, very shiny, but then it wears down to a nice, uh, more muted uh, balm slash stain because it's not, it looks like a stain, but it's not drying like a stain. So I really love the formula of this. And again, Smashbox, if you're watching this, which you know I highly doubt you are, please make this color again because I absolutely love it. It's probably my all time favorite gloss. And it would be really nice if you would make this again. Uh, the next question is something extra. So I've decided to do two products for the something extra question. Now this, I'm not sure if many of you people will have, or many of you guys have heard about this brand. It's from Medusa's Makeup. Now this is their lip gloss in the color Loudmouth. I have two of them. And I was really surprised with these lip glosses because um, when you order from them, you get a free sample. And this is like a full-size product, so it's not even a sample. It's kind of like a doe foot applicator. This is a nice bright orange, but it's got a lot of um, like gold shimmer in it. Now, these apply really nice and really opaque, and they last a long time, which I really like. But I'm really impressed by how opaque these glosses are. Um, so, yeah, I really like them. The only thing I don't really like is the scent. It smells kind of plasticky. But again, I was like actually impressed with these because I bought some eyeshadows from them and I wasn't really impressed with them. But funny how I like the sample more than the actual products that I ordered from the company. But anyway, so that is that color. That was Loudmouth. Um, and this product is probably going to be no surprise. You know, everyone's been talking about this. Uh, in the recent weeks. This is the Too Faced Melted Liquid Liquefied Lipsticks, and this is in Melted Violet. It's a bright, uh, I'd say probably like a clean violet. Now these, I have done a review on these, which I will link down below if you want more, a further like uh, in-depth description of these products. They apply like a gloss. It's got like a doe foot um, applicator, but it's made of velvet, so it applies really nice and soft. Um, so it feels good on your lips. And then 
when it when it's a, when you're finished applying it, it appears like a lipstick but with a little bit of shine. It doesn't look like a lip gloss because it is very um, pigmented, which I really enjoy. And then as it wears down, like a few hours into wearing it, it looks more like a stain. So the color does fade a bit, but you know it's not going to fade unevenly. You know it's a nice, very even. Um, stained look to your lips and I really like that and another thing is they're not super uh drying on your lips is what I would assume them to be even though it is kind of like wearing down to a stain it is a little bit drying but not super drying so I am really enjoying these I also have it in melted peony which is a uh almost like a dusty rose a light rose and then a uh Melted Coral, which is exactly, you know, a nice coral shade. These are all really nice for summer. However, you know, I love bright colors and I'll definitely rock them through through the fall and the winter. These, I believe, were $23 or $24 on the Canadian Sephora site. I know they are like 2 or $3 cheaper on the American Sephora site, but I, I'm really enjoying these. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video if you did enjoy watching it. Uh, and again, if you guys have any suggestions for videos, I know I say this at the end of almost all of my videos, but please leave suggestions. I really appreciate it when you guys do that, you know. Sometimes it is a little bit hard thinking of ideas to make for a video, but when you guys give me suggestions, it's really nice that you guys want to watch. And yeah, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this tag video and I will see you guys on Monday, okay? So bye guys.